All right, this, is, uh, this has been an exciting day. All right, so we have official tuning is available for the 2020, 21, and 22 3.0 Duramax diesel trucks. The 22 and a half and 23 trucks and the SUVs are not included in this. We do not have tuning coming for us. I say us because I have a 23. So we'll just have to sit and wait patiently because I've asked and they said that it is coming. Just wait patiently. So we have three tuning shops working on this as far as I'm aware. And I got this based off of information from the internet. And you know, if it's been on the internet, it's gonna be true. So the way this started was VSE posted up today a video explaining their tunes available, which is a 30 horsepower and a 60 horsepower tune. And this is at the wheels, so it's a pretty big gain and uh, up to 100 foot-pounds of torque off of those two, tun two tunes. So the first tune, the 30 horsepower one, is for towing purposes or daily driving, typically. Start off with 28 PSI from the turbo, ending at 31 PSI. And based off of the information from VSE, it's a limitation of airflow from the turbocharger. Now, as we keep digging on the internet, there's a bunch of discussions on there. And let me tell you, I came across one little gem and I'm gonna read this right here. I'm gonna have to pull up my notes though because I have it written down. All right, this is Corey from PPEI and I quote, us and Duramax Tuner also confirmed that anything past 50 horsepower, there just isn't enough air with emissions. This raises a couple, couple things right here that uh, immediately, one, PPEI is working on tuning as well. Now, when I talked to them last, they told me that they scrapped it. And uh, apparently now that the ECMs have been unlocked, they've been working on it as well. So there's two tuners available and um, Corey threw out Duramax tuner in there too. And I've had experience with Duramax tuner in the past and uh, I'm excited to see that name up here also as a third working on the 3.0 Duramax diesel tunes. So this is great. So we have three working on it. Now, the other part of this is uh, there's a mention of enough air with emissions. So that's one question that we need to raise with everybody tuning is how is this going to affect our emissions? Are we going to have more regens? Because nobody wants more regens. If anything, we'd like more power, better fuel economy, and no regens, right? But we're not going to be able to get that. So where's the happy medium going to be on that? And that's one thing that's going to be a, a big selling factor, I think, is who's got the cleanest tunes available that are going to cause less regens, if that's even possible. Um, and because uh, I definitely, I wouldn't want to go tuning my truck and then have regen after regen after regen just to have that added power. It's not going to be worth it to me. But if there's a tune available that does bump up the fuel mileage and makes it more efficient and less regens, I'm on board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of sit back and I'm going to watch to see how this plays out. And um, as these companies keep providing more information, we're going to be able to assess based off of that information provided which route to go and, um, you know, what the gains are. All right, so here's how this is going to work. You're going to have to remove your ECM, ship it out to either your tuner or to HB Tuners directly. You're going to have to pay for the service of them unlocking it. They're going to give it back to you, and then you're going to work with the tuner to do the programming. You're gonna to have to buy the HP tuners unit, you're gonna to have to buy the credits for it, and you're gonna to have to pay for the tuning services. So yes, this is gonna be a little costly, and um, so that's just something to keep in mind right there. But for those of us that want more power, this is what's gonna do it. And uh, the last thing that you gotta think about, because we've already discussed emissions, we've discussed cost, and um, the number one question that I get on everything is, will this void my warranty? And that is one thing you're gonna to have to think about. If you're gonna spend all this money the uh, potential for voiding your warranty if a catastrophic failure actually happens, um, yeah, you're gonna be on the hook with that. So keep this in mind when you're doing these tuning um, on the truck. So it's gonna be interesting. This is gonna be a bunch of fun to uh, follow along and see what's which routes we go with everything and uh, how much power we can actually pull out of these Duramaxes uh, reliably. And lastly, I want to point out the trans tuning is also available. And I don't know much about trans tuning, but I know that they're going to need to work hand in hand. And um, it's going to take a lot of knowledge on this to get the tune right plus the trans tune right and have all this stuff live because we all want, like I said, better fuel mileage, more power, less regens. And um, let's see what the future holds for us.